Does Georgia want to repeat? It's a serious question. Kirby Smart has recently eclipsed the Alabama and Nick Saban with two huge metrics. 85 and 15 in the first 100 games? Now belongs to Georgia. Kirby Smart. Consecutive weeks ranked number one now belongs to Georgia. Nation's longest winning streak belongs to Georgia. All that said, let's repeat the question. Does Georgia want to win a third consecutive title? Well, let's start with at least looking like a champion this season. How many times has that happened? How many times have they looked like a champion? Exactly one game against Kentucky. Luckily, it was the last game we just played. That's good. But the first five, well, they weren't like the Kentucky game. The Kentucky game was a stark contrast to anything Georgia did the entire year. Before Kentucky, that's five games of living on past accolades instead of proving themselves every week. The offense is the obvious culprit. Coaching, play calling, they've been, have been abysmal. And of course, Kirby was circling the wagons, defending Bobo instead of showing any dissatisfaction. We'll need to see a lot more Kentucky-style games to fully believe this team can repeat as champions. You know, it's a down year in college football. You know, there really aren't any impressive teams yet. There's many reasons uh, this season almost seems like a lame duck season. There's several conferences that will activate, you know, the recent expansions. And also, it's the last year of the four-team playoff. It seems almost like this year doesn't really matter. So few marquee games well into the midpoint of the season. The top 10 is full of teams that won't be in the top 10 at the end. Is Georgia one of those? Well, yes and no. Yes. If they revert back to the Stone Age, play calling uh, like the first five games, and no, that they really are the team we saw demolish Kentucky. Georgia was ranked as the most efficient offense the last two seasons. At the moment, they have climbed back to four. Thanks to Kentucky game last week. Uh, we were 78 in explosive plays before Kentucky. Uh, so, so it's fine for this to be a lame duck season. If that's what Georgia wants. But is that what this team wants. I don't think so. The Kentucky game was very encouraging. But we're going to want to see that kind of game against Vanderbilt and the rest of the way. We can't have any more of this reverting back to the Stone Age. And so it begs the question, does Georgia want to win another title? There's no reason for Georgia to allow this unique opportunity to slip away. But remember some hard facts. Mike Bobo is 1-19 against ranked teams. He won his first one against Kentucky. Bobo has never won an SEC title. Bobo has never won an SEC for eight years with uh, Rick and then uh, this season with Kirby Smart. Bobo also missed in some huge recruiting while with Rick, uh, the most obvious, turning Deshaun Watson away. 
the next few games will be revealing not only for Georgia, uh, but for many teams currently in the top 10. Beating ranked teams instead of losing to them has made all the difference for Georgia. Kirby Smart has come to rely on dominant games. Dominant games in front of five-star recruits. Last week, last week Georgia was the most watched game. Well, those kind of things are the actual fruits of being in the position Georgia's in. Your, uh, your, your merchandise sells better. You become a money machine if that's important. But to be on television and have the highest watched game week after week, those things matter. And for that to matter, you have to play at a higher level. Kirby Smart, Kirby Smart says the only thing he wants to be number one is at the end of the year. He doesn't care about the rankings, and that's fine. But Kirby knows for that to happen. He'll have to live up to his mantra. To be chopping and be the hunter and not the hunted. And for the first five weeks of this season, Georgia didn't start chopping until the second half. And up to the last five minutes in Auburn, they were indeed the hunted and not the hunter. Consistency and high expectations have driven what could be a, a dynasty, a genuine dynasty. But as we said, does Georgia really want one? And if they do, the door is wide open to be continued. A very promising run of success, unlike any before in Georgia history. But will Kirby fall into the Davos Swinney trap? Will Kirby fall into the Dabo Sweeney trap of protecting friends on the staff? Perhaps who are underperforming? So far, he's leaning Dabo's way. Time will tell. <laughs>